Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, a new Let's Play. I'm going to be playing a game called Daylight. I have no idea what it is. It just popped up on the PlayStation Network because a few days ago, Sony released a restriction on HDCP, so I can now record my PlayStation 4. Um, also, on that same day, this brand new horror title pops up, so I thought that was Sony's way of telling me to get my finger out my ass and play some damn video games for you guys. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to play this new... It's brand spanking new horror game. Let me just piss around with the settings. No, it, yes. No, no, fuck. Yes, that. Uh, vibration on. Gotta get them vibrations. Gotta get that immersion. So let's just jump right into this. I don't know what, I don't really know what to expect because I saw the launch trailer for it when I saw the game. So I know it's a horror game. That's all that I know about it. It kind of looks like Cry of Fear, just with the, using the phone as the heads up display and stuff. But we'll, we'll see how it goes once we get through this loading minigame. God, I love these loading minigames, they're so good. Because they can obviously count from 24 straight to 48. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, God. Yes, yes, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <sighs> so this game uses Unreal 4, which I think will be interesting to look at. Because besides that tech demo, I've not seen any games using Unreal 4 yet. So hopefully we're going to get all the physics and all the particle effects. Okay. Oh, we got our new uh, iPhone Death Edition. I've got to get me one of those as well. Lord, you've arrived. Sarah, focus. You haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Where am I? It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Oh no. That machine is a pissing phone. Christ, what are you? Like, 160? Oh, God, you're so out of a loop of technology. Ah! So you, you just gave me a map. You just you just mapped a map to my map device. Thank you. I appreciate that thoroughly. Where am I going? Uh, I assume this way because that's where some light is and there's no blood to follow, which is usually the norm in these horror games. What is this? Backpack. The light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Oh, I can keep finding glow sticks. Awesome. Uh, I have too many glow sticks. So I can... Oh, it's a bit laggy, but whatever. I can use this. And I have a green light. Oh, it's Penumbra now. Awesome. I love the... Boy, these automatic doors sure are handy. What is that? What? Why, why have I got a squiggly on the script? What? 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 Uh, Mid-Island Hospital Patient Record File Date March 4th, 1988 Concerning Patient 13. Patient, aged 10 months old, has been readmitted by her foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh Horror stuff. Oh! No. My arm. The memories will burn into your flesh. Don't let them see. Don't let them know. Be the good girl you ought to know. Let it go. Let it go. Did that door just open? Okay, cool. Uh, search for hole for useful items. Uh, well, last time I did that, I just got some burning on my hand, so... Sod that. Find the egg. I keep getting all these damn objectives in the bottom left. He just keeps telling me, find some items, find the objective. So you can't investigate this one because it's got no bloody... It's stupid symbols on it. Is this corridor simulator? Because that's, that's the feel I'm getting from it. I can't really... Yeah, and there is nobody here except you, lady. I'm not even sure of your name. I think it was Sarah. What is this? That is a fire extinguisher. I cannot progress because there's this stupid cut in the way. Can I push it out of the way? Can I Can I have some common sense and push it out of the way? Oh, I can see my feet prints. Because I think they're my feet prints. Yeah, never mind. Um, let's see, let's see. What is that? That is a light, which isn't functioning very well as a light. What do I do? What do I... Oh, I'll put that away. Oh, that might actually help, because I could see Soddle with that. I could see Soddle with this damn light as well. 
Oh, I can sprint. Cool. Um, oh, wait. There's something here. Oh, more doors! But I think there was something here as well. Maybe? No? No? Okay. Let's go through this door. Yes, I already used it. Um, so I'm going to glow stick back out. I like that green penumbra look. It is incredibly dark. I have no idea what's going on. Hooray, more corridors. That's exactly what I wanted. What am I even supposed to be doing? Spoopy noises. Frame drop loss. What is this? This is also a door. Uh, is there anything at the end of this hall? It doesn't look like it from the map. Just a chair. Just a chair. And a boarded up door. Fantastic. Let's go in this door that's over here. That clearly goes into a room. As I shake my glow stick around. Is there anything here? No. Oh wait, is that a that's a thing. I gotta get to that thing. Oh, it's through this room. Uh, thing? Things. Yay, things. I need to get these things, right? X. Found a glow stick. Woo. So that wasn't actually important. These are just things I can search. No, s search it. Oh, okay. So I can use flares to like w wear ward off enemies. Much like Silent Hill Shattered Memories and possibly other horror games. Oh god, that was the post. Hold on a sec, guys. <sighs> Look at all this professionalism I have. Um, Where am I going? This way! And then this way. I'm not even looking at the screen anymore because I can see shy at all. I'm just looking at my little map. Can I move while I have the map up? I cannot. Fantastic. Right. Let's see. There was another corridor over here, I think. Um, this is a door that I can't open. Is this an openable door? My glow stick just went out. Okay. There is a red light. And a corridor on its turn, so let's see... Oh, a lot more corridors. You know, to say this game's called Daylight, I'm seeing very little daylight. This looks like a thing. It's all glowy and demonic looking. Um, concerning patient 13 again, I fear that with the upcoming closure of the hospital, we will be unable to find a home for ourselves. For her... Uh, for her... Ourselves. Nah, English. It's sad that a life brought into this world under such violence will now become a ward of the state. She will undoubtedly be bounced between institutions. Don't care. Let's keep going on in the corridor simulator. Do you know what? Just sorry to ruin the immersions and stuff, but uh, brightness needs to go up just a tad. Because that did not help in the slightest. Because I'm all for dark games. But I want to at least be able to see what I'm looking at. Because at the moment I'm just wandering into nothingness until I find a door. And it's like... <sighs> huh? Ow. What's happening? Because I mean, at the moment, I'm... All, these, all the art that went into this game and all the scenery making has just gone to waste because I can see shite all. Uh, oh, this is a room. Hey look! Something to look at! Fantastic! Is anything going to happen in this room? Or oh, do I need to come here once I've got all these other remnants? Perhaps that's the thing I have to do. Uh, do, do, do no, nothing. Alright, let's go back. It shall be marked on this map by the uh, squiggle. By squiggly. I want this glow stick back again. It doesn't help, but somehow it helps. Seriously, it doesn't help in the slightest. I don't understand this. Did I just walk stupidly fast? Or am I walking into a wall? I can't see. I wonder what that threat meter in the bottom right is. I, I understand it's a threat meter, but for what? Obviously there's some spoopy, scary skeleton's going to jump out and try to touch my hair. Um, This is a dead end. With nothing in it. Fantastic. Oh yeah, this is a procedurally generated game. That's probably why I'm just wandering into nothingness. I, I, I remember I remember it telling me that it's procedurally generated. So it's random. Which is pretty cool. Because ran, with random horror games you never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. Except all the chocolates are filled with blood and gore 
and, and those chocolates were actually handed to you by Hannibal Lecter. And he made some sort of cannibal pun, but he didn't pick up on it because he's such a smarmy bastard. This is another thing. 